Hello everybody. In today's lesson, we are going to learn some inbuilt functions that are provided by MS Excel. Now, the mathematical functions that we are going to study are sum, average, max and mean. Now, what are these mathematical functions? Like we have learned that in MS Excel, we can enter the data in the form of numbers and records and that will look like a table and all calculations of these numbers can be done on excel sheet itself and it is done by the computer hence the result is 100 percent accurate so we are going to learn the syntax or how to use these functions in our excel sheet now i hope you have already completed your assignment that was given in the previous lesson because we are going to use that table for learning these functions so this is the assignment that you were supposed to complete i have changed the names to student a b c d uh, till j you can give anything and these are some arbitrary marks that have been entered now we are going to find the sum and average of the marks of these students in these columns where I have given the headers. This one is this column is for the sum and this column is for the average. And I will also find out the maximum marks obtained by uh, any student in a particular subject. Like here I am going to write to give the maximum marks obtained in maths. Here will be the maximum for physics and here it will be for the minimum. Now let us write down the functions. Now in order to use any function in MS Excel, it is very important that you start writing any function with an equal to sign. Because if you don't start it with an equal to sign, then what happens is it becomes a string. You know, it is not, it is, it will not be evaluated by the computer anymore. So when it starts with an equal to sign, the computer knows that they have to do a calculation for this cell. Now the uh, function name is as simple as sum and you can see as you are typing the computer is also prompting the functions. Now there are many types of sum we will only learn simple addition which is carried out by the function sum. Now you must also see here this is the formula bar I hope you remember whatever I will be typing in this cell the function or formula will be reflected over here now how to write now now that we've written the name of the function I have to give brackets now, when I give the bracket in, inside the bracket you have to give the numbers uh, which you have to add now, if I want to find the total marks obtained by a student in these subjects I will just click and drag I'm repeating this again my cursor is inside the brackets whatever comes inside the bracket will be added now there are different ways the two ways of writing it either you give with the comma or you give in the form of a range now I will first give with commas so I will add the value in this cell comma in this cell comma in this comma again this one so whichever cells I want to add the values I will just click on them and it is being automatically printed over here I am not typing c3d3 e3 these cell names I am not typing when I am clicking here it is coming over here within the brackets so if I press enter now you will see this has been evaluated the answer is 415 so student A has obtained 415 out of these in these five subjects. Now this is one way. I can do it another way. I will do it in the next cell. Okay. Again I will start with an equal to sign sum. Give the open brackets. Closing brackets I will give after I give the range. Now giving commas and writing the cell uh, address is uh, convenient for cases where the number of cells are less but suppose there is huge number of cells around 
30 40 cells whose data has to be added then it is very inconvenient and very troublesome to give all the cell names within commas with commas moreover since they are in a range that is the cells come one after the other they can be easily written in a range how to write in a range you will not type in manually but you see i will click and drag the mouse and select the cells whose values needs to be added and the range will be automatically be typed inside the bracket so i want from this cell from the math this is for student b right see the cell name okay student b so from maths i click here and i drag so as i drag can you see how the cell range has come here c4 colon g4 colon means range so it can be also read as 2 to 2 c4 to g4 see this cell is c4 isn't it column c row 4 c4 this is d4 e4 f4 g4 so this has been written in the form of a range and i press enter here the answer is 271 so there are two ways in which we can write the uh, address of the cells whose value has to be added first method was using commas second method was giving a colon for the range now when is this comma method used when the number of cell is less or the cells are scattered it cannot be written in the form of a range then the comma method is the only way to do it but here instead of giving commas and writing so many cells over and over again i can write it in the form of a range like i have done in the second one see in the second one what is the see i can see the formula i cannot see the formula over here i am seeing the answer but the formula can be seen in the formula bar over here so this the function that i've written is sum c4 to g4 but suppose you want to change the formula then how will you change you either click over here and you change or if you double click in this place never click on any cell when you are for doing with functions unnecessarily always press a enter so that the result comes in okay i will say if i want to edit the function i will double click on this cell then the function will be showing and i edit from here again if i want to you know you might be thinking out of practice that if i click in some other empty cell then this function will go away and it will show the number but it is not so it will type in that one okay so always put up always press and enter now there are 10 students so will i go on typing the same function over and over again here i have done with only 10 students but actually in a class there are more than 10 students 30 40 50 60 girls so instead of typing 60 times what i'm going to do is i'm going to use autofill what is autofill instead of typing over and over again i will just fill the rest of the cells using the pattern of this formula this is an autofill feature that is given in ms excel now pay attention how to autofill now when this cell is be is you can see is surrounded is bordered with a thick line then this is the active cell and see the name box is showing the cell address column h and row 4 and can you see a small square on in the right hand side bottom corner okay now when the cursor is outside on any cell it looks like a plus sign thick broad plus sign but when you bring this cursor on the small box the cursor changes to a plus sign this is a plus which is a not thick one but it is a narrow one so what you do at this moment is press the left button of your mouse that is click and drag till whichever cell you want the formula to be applied so now as soon as i release the mouse button you will see all these cells will show the sum of these and all the cells have actually been filled with the formula now see for student c 
I have not typed the man type the formula but it is showing the sum and see the formula has also come automatically so this is the autofill feature now let's come to average average the stories is again the same you have to start with the equal to sign because it is a formula and then you write a v e r a g e so this is the name of the function which is used to find the average of numbers it can be any numbers 10 20 30 40 500 600 in the same way i can either give with commas or i can give a range when the number of cells are less or the cells are scattered then we can use the comma or simply we can give the range if they are come in a block so from maths to computer i click and drag you see you have already got the range we close the bracket press enter as soon as you enter you get the average of student a again i'm going to use the autofill so i click on this you have to click set, select the cell whose formula you want to fill in the other cells so i want to use this formula this formula average and it, i want to give it to the other cell so i make it the active cell bring my mouse to this small square click and drag and when i reach the last cell till where i want to keep the formula i will release the mouse button so see you have got the average of all the 10 students but you have typed only once there is another important thing to note that is when you have typed in this cell it was average of c3 to g3 but you have used the autofill feature to give the same formula over here but you see it is not c3 to g3 it is c4 to c4 although i'm on the which row i'm on the fourth row for the next student for the next student c it is c5 to g5 c6 to g6 so it is not that if i've written the formula over here with c3 and g3 everybody's average is also being calculated using the data in the cell c3 to g3 no it is automatically using the related data whichever it has to take now let's come to max and min now here i am going to find the maximum marks in max that's the highest in max so i will put an equal to sign and write max open brackets again i will use the range close bracket enter so i've got what is the maximum 98 similarly i can also find the minimum open brackets select the range enter so you can see that 45 is the minimum marks that is here and 96 is the maximum marks obtained in maths so again i will use the autofill feature to find the max in for all the columns so 93 is the maximum in physics see 93 92 is the maximum here 99 is the maximum 93 is the maximum in computer science 6 4 69 is the maximum total okay and 93.8 is the maximum average similarly for minimum again i will use the autofill feature I bring the mouse in the small square click drag and release the mouse button you have filled all the cells with the required formula you can click on each of the cells and you keep an eye on this bar you will see the function name is same but the range is changing as and when required now here we have learned a new feature which is autofill we will also learn one more important feature of MS Excel which is called what if analysis. This is a very important feature of MS Excel. What is this what if analysis? Now suppose see I have found out the sum of all the marks that is obtained by the student f in these five subjects suppose instead of 78 
this student has got 87 so it was a data entry error so if I change the marks over here then MS Excel will change all the calculations which has involved the data in this cell which is a disadvantage in manual sheet you just imagine a table like this in the paper and an error like this then obviously if I change this 78 to 87 then this addition will also change this will also change and this might also change if the case may be but in MS Excel as soon as you change the number and press the enter you see all the cells which have involved this calculation will also change see this cell also changed and this also changed but this too did not change why because it is not one of the maximum or minimum but it has re-evaluated and saw there was no change but these two changed now let's see this is 92 this student has got 92 suppose this one was also an error and it is 98 if I press enter you will see that the maximum will change and obviously that sum total and average of the student will also change so keep an eye on this sum on this average and the maximum you get it this changed this changed and this also changed so this feature is called what if analysis so it is not that once the formula is given and calculation is done then if you make changes in the data then they will remain the same it is not so if the data changes then the formulas are again re-evaluated and the new changed value is reflected in the cells so in that excel sheet that you have already prepared prepared you will find the sum average maximum and minimum of all the students the way i have shown in this lesson today with this we come to the end of this chapter and uh, keep practicing i hope you love the lesson